Warning, the following video contains explicit language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Kanika literally fades away into a water bottle. Hey, that's on the motherfucking shelf. Kanika, what were you just saying? And Kanika transform into five, six different men. She a shape shifter. I told y'all the whole footage is the snake eating Kanika. everybody it's your boy random news and i'm gonna welcome you to episode three of the dark side of j4k now so far in this series we've looked at a crazy person hey that's her on the motherfucking shelf that's the whole body a leader of an internet cult now watch this see that head in that bag that little baby head and today we're gonna look at a so-called psychic now i'm not saying psychics don't exist there may be some people out here with psychic powers. I don't know. What I do know is, the person we're looking at today does not have any psychic power at all. And that person is Candace Starr. Hey, babe. Now I came across Candace Starr's page while researching the Kanika case. And some of the stuff on there was very, very questionable. Now, she's most famous for communicating with Kanika Jenkins through her cell phone. That's right. A cell phone. Kanika, happy Valentine's Day. How's everybody feeling? How's your energy? Yeah, pretty messed up, right? Now I've seen people that claim to be psychic in the past, and they usually turn out something like this. Almost nine years ago, Amanda Berry's mom went on the Montel Williams show where resident psychic Sylvia Brown spoke of Amanda. Don't think I'll ever see her again. Yeah, in heaven. She's gone, honey. Then who's this? Hello, Blues. Help me, I'm Amanda Berry. I've been kidnapped, and I've been missing for 10 years, and I'm, I'm here, I'm free now. <laughs> There are two jagged boulders, which look really misplaced. He could be found near He's there. near the boulders. Is he still with us? No. Well, Sean was found alive, not stuck between jagged boulders, but in an apartment in sub suburban St. Louis. I lost my boyfriend tragically um, a few years ago. They never found him. And I've had such a hard time since, every day. The reason why you didn't find him is because he's in water. And find him in water, it's like the girl that's missing in Aruba. You, you, you can't find somebody. Well, it was September 11th. There was no, he was a fireman, but... Is there any way he could have drowned in water some way? They never found a piece of him. Nothing. From 9-11. Because he, he says he couldn't breathe and he was filled with water. We're trying to put the fire out, come on, Tim. They could have, you know, I... Yeah. See how frauds like this make people who claim to have the gift look bad? And how they play on people's emotion? Now most encounters with psychics usually turn out this way. They're always wrong. But I'm going to give Candace the benefit of the doubt. And since most psychics say they're born with the gift of being a psychic, that she had that already taught to more people than Kanika. So I went and checked some of my old videos. And to my surprise, there's nothing about being psychic anywhere. I mean, she's had videos up here from like five years, and not one reading, not one cell phone talk, nothing. Now you see, before Kanika died, Candace mostly made life blog type videos and videos making lifelike dolls, and that's pretty cool. But those videos didn't really do the numbers that a Kanika video would. But once she made her first Kanika video, compare those numbers compared to the numbers of the videos she used to make. And now you start to see where we're going here. Dude in blue is over there, facing the wall. Somebody's holding her up because we already saw the hoodie. And there's somebody in the back in that window. It's like an area that you can go through where that boy in blue is. Go back there, come out by that window. And he's standing there recording. Funny enough, even though we all know that video is bullshit, it's still up. And don't think you're gonna call her on it because 
Qualcomm is disabled. When Candace saw the amount of views she got off of that video, she knew that was money that could be made. So right away, she thought it just reposting other people's theories as long as they were super popular. And then she put her own spin on it, and her channel thought it to blow up. Check it out. What I want to point out right now is, why is her legs so damn long? That looks like an eight-foot man, don't it? Why is that leg so long? Like, okay, I see the shoe, I see the knee. I see where her butt would be, but then there's an extra butt or thigh. You know what I'm saying? And then it goes straight into her head. <laughs> well, where's her body? So, this is from Straight Drops video. Okay, I'm looking at the video and I see Kanika here. It's kind of like she's resting on somebody's chest right there. I think there's two bodies over here. I think there's Kanika's here. And I think there's somebody laying on the floor over here. See, this looks like another person being picked up. They already removed Kanika. See Kanika back here. There's like a face. There was a freaking face right there. But I'm gonna ignore that one. Um, look at the shoe, it's moving. Look at the shoe, it's moving. A creepy freaking face pops out of the wall. Moving. Oh, look at this. It's bending. Okay, Nika's legs couldn't bend and straighten. She was frozen solid, supposedly. Okay, look. And she's gone. So I'm I'm thinking there was definitely two people laying there. Now I know what you're thinking. I've seen a lot of these theories before. Well, remember the Selena Gomez organ theory? Well, Candace did. Check this one out. Okay, everybody knows the rumor about Selena Gomez, right? Listen to this. This is um her talking about she's talking about her surgery right tell me if you get the creepiest eeriest feelings when she says she's good and when she says just listen right now physically mentally i'm good yeah no i'm honestly that whole that whole experience made me look um, at life a little differently mm. and um, i'm grateful oh, sure. for that because i'm constantly having those moments of um, groundedness yeah. hold on guy behind her don't his facial structures look like the dude that's in all those on all those um shots that I uh how you say um I filter? Don't look behind him. Yeah, and if you think that was a stretch, watch how she tries to convince her audience that Selena Gomez's video was the plot to take Kanika's organ. Hey babe, so check this out. I'm reviewing the Selena Gomez video. Boom boom boom. Did you just see that? Okay, that's what it flashes to. A wet, dead person. Hold on. First thing I notice, she's in a nice, pretty dress, and what does she have on? Big white shoes. Whatever I feel fits with Kanika. I'm gonna show you, okay? So hold on one moment. Now to me, she's barefooted, and Kanika had one shoe on, barefoot. Does she pull a diamond? Like Kanika's diamond ring, just a diamond out of her mouth. What is that? It's like a yellow diamond. Hold on. All right, we'll keep going. Hold on. Ripped pants. She's ripping her pants. Me, I would take this as like a no snitching sign. Watch this. What in the world? Water, water, a towel, falling, blood on the floor evilness to me this looks like a struggle happened and a girl's being raped I'm not gonna show the other part um, that side of the video it's inappropriate that looks like what Kanika's hair looked like all wet she's in a freezer those look like the, 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 the shelves in the background of the kitchen it really does where we see the bodies we say we see bodies look I see him. Look. On the shelf. On the motherfucking shelf. Seeing all of this turned out to be a waste of time. Selena's kidney was donated by her best friend. And the surgery was done over the summer. She didn't announce it till September, after she had already fully recovered. Now she went on with clickbait stories like this for months. 
and her channel started growing rapidly. And things were looking good. But well, that was up until Rosemont decided to release all the footage. And that's what people wanted to talk about. And when that happened, videos with all the glitches and the blurry pictures and stuff didn't fly anymore. So then she came out with this rant. Hey babes, so I want to talk about this 36 hour video. I was going to go over the whole entire 36 hours and I decided not to. Um, and this is why. The first, the first video, we all knew it was edited. We could see people blotched out of it, all kinds of stuff. So then I post a video and then like three days later the police admit saying, oh, it's a recreation. See, that rumor was just caused by poor read and comprehension. They never said they recreated anything. They said our detectives also have created video recordings of the scene to include the believed path Kanika Jenkins took from the hotel room to the freezer. Nowhere in that article do you see the words recreate or reenact. And to show you the proof, here's the video footage of what they were talking about. And as you can see, like the article said, they created video footage of the path that Kanika walked. That's it. She wants you to believe that they reenacted something and that there was like two Kanikas. Something like this. And trust me, that's impossible. Now let's get back to the fraud. Some crazy shit. So now... They come out with this new video, the 36 hour footage, hey. I watched a few couple, like two or three scenes of it and immediately, immediately noticed it's all been edited, okay? Everything's been chopped and, and dragged and placed in different places. You see people coming out of the uh, out of the elevator and all of a sudden they come out again. How the hell did you do that? You know what I'm saying? So it's like... I don't want to see that. She doesn't want to see it because it discredits all the bullshit she's been showing up to this point. Because I know it's edited. How are you going to give us a real video, say it's fake, give us another quote unquote real video, but you got the fake shit in the real one? Okay, I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's run it back. A real video, say it's fake, give us another quote unquote real video but you got the fake shit in the real one no it still sounds pretty stupid and it's all chopped up none of the times are correct i don't believe kanika ever truly left that room i truly do not feel we will ever 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 truly find justice for kanika but that don't mean we gotta stop you know what I'm saying? It's just where we're looking for, we're not going to find it. Oh, but don't worry. Candace knew exactly where to find her next scam. It came in the form of anonymous emails. Check it out. Hey, babes. So, I'm going through my comments, and I read this. It's pretty long. I'm going to read it to you. I'm not going to mention the name of the person because I'm not sure if they want me to. Okay, so I'm going to read this to you only because it makes the most sense to me. Okay, Kanika was murdered by the gang members due to Kanika flipping set. Kanika took an oath for one gang but joined another, which was totally an enemy of GD. She became a vice lord showing the colors purple that's why Teresa keeps using those purple hearts because she knew about it but doesn't say anything about it because she's afraid of getting killed if mentioned if she mentions a word so she blaming the hotel at the point blank of Kanika's getting killed but hey babe so um this is I guess part two because they gave us a little bit more information the witness that was at the party I said, hey babe, sorry to bother you, but do you remember anyone talking anything about anything odd? Like the girl that looked like KJ or the guy doing a live. Can you remember anything? Try to sleep on it, then get back to me, unless you, you already remember something. So I got a reply, and it says, honestly, I'm scared. I wanted to tell the police department, but they look crooked as fuck. I'm getting out of Illinois. Let's call... The fake Kanika number two. While we was partying, number two was exactly like 
Kanika. But it was weird because they kept focusing on number two as if she was Kanika. That's why during the lives, number two keeps covering her face. That's not her in the room during that time. Nifa already, um, Monifa already took Kanika during the party where the girl comes out of the bathroom. That's not Kanika. I don't care if people believe me. This is the truth of what I seen. The security guard was in the bathroom with Monifa. He was acting shady as fuck, bro. In most of the party, they kept they kept the bathroom door closed during the party with wait during the party with Kanika. There, you had Irene on live, right? Well. Bitch was on live, Teffy was touching Kanika, and Bibby was in there along with Kanika. See, she ran with the scam for a few weeks, and a bunch of gullible people fell for it. Funny thing was, this scam is old. It was originally done by Sherry Schreiner. Check it out. Hello, folks. I wanted to do this video. I spent the last couple of days talking to an employee of Crown Plaza Hotel. And so it's a mixture of emails going back and forth. And I'm going to try to disguise this person as much as possible and hide them. So I might say some things that to throw off who this, the identity of this person might be. These people are pure evil. The mother of the daughter came to the hotel. And she looked so phony crying, but no tears, Sherry. I feel she sacrificed her daughter. It was scripted and staged. It's all fake. It's a lot of doors we could not never go in. And Sherry, it was a few rooms that always had an odor to it, but never paid attention. See, all the con artists tried to jump in on this hustle. Check out Beach Beauty when she tried it. Hey, y'all. Okay. Now, I did a video earlier, okay, about an anonymous person um, contacting me in my email. They wrote me again, okay? The subject line said, uh... Yo, this was an accident, okay? And the first message says, No one hurt Kanika. Her wasn't happy, and Nifa kept bothering her, trying to get her out of a bad mood. She wasn't touched by no one in the room. <clears throat> People did joke about the freezer, but didn't go or didn't do it till after Nika died. I don't know if it's going till after she died or do it till she died. See, the problem with this hustle was that all these frauds did it at the same time and all their subs started to say it and they called them all on it. So they all had to come out and admit that it was fake. Hey, y'all. Um, you know, the anonymous person is not is not real. They're fake. Now, the, ne the, the one after that says, now Candace warned me about you. You're nothing but a backstabbing bitch, of course. I'm not going to tell you anything. LOL. And you can share this on your channel. You and your followers can believe whatever you want. I don't care anymore. LOL. I know what happened. I'm here to answer people's questions, not to deal with immature people like you. And as far as Candace, wow, Candace warned the person about me. I mean, how can Candace warn someone about me when Candace don't even know me? I don't know this girl from nothing, okay? And, you know, so I don't know how Candace, if Candace warned anybody about me, what the heck you lying about, Candace? Because I never did anything to you. I don't know you or nothing, okay? So you stay over there with whatever you're doing and let me deal with what I got going on. And this is back in February, okay? This is when I first put these videos out with these um, anonymous emails. Okay, and the person wrote me back and said, I'm the one who messaged Candace Starr. I'm trying to tell everyone the truth before something happens to me. See how quick these frauds throw each other under the bus when shit gets hot? And it was so funny because Candace sold this scam to her audience so hard. Listen. So, 100%, I, you know, if I don't agree with something, I'm not going to post it. So, if I posted it, I obviously agree with it. So, now we see there's no money to be made in an anonymous email racket. That don't mean we gotta stop. Trust me, she didn't stop because her next scheme was about to get her mad paid.
You see Kansas' next video was titled KJ EVP number one, The Drink. And that would be the start of our whole new scheme. So, I'm looking at ghost communicators and I have one on my app. And it just turned on by itself, I swear. Look. I was gonna look up EVP, which I'm doing now. EVP recorder. And the one I just got out of turned on. Okay. <laughs> and obviously it turned off, I guess. Hello? I guess so. I'm going to do an EVP session? I've never done this before. Wait a minute. You never done this before? Maybe I heard that wrong. I've never done this before. So she never done this before. So there's no way she should connect with Kaneko on the first try, right? Let's find out. But I'm gonna try it. Hello? Kanika? You there? I can take pussy? My underwear? I guess. Take pussy. Be quiet. I get pussy. Who says that? Kanika. Yes, me. What does she mean, yeah, it's me? This is our first time doing the EVP and her and Kanika are already tight like that? <laughs> Come on. I'm trying to talk to you, girl. You all right? Kanika, I'm going to come back at 3 a.m. Now I've seen psychics use all types of stuff to communicate with the dead. From tarot cards, pendulums, seances, even spirit boxes. But who would have known it was that easy to just reach out and touch Kanika with an app on your phone. Now, knowing that, you would think she would just ask Kanika who killed her, get the answer, and this would be all over with, right? Nope. And she kept this going for a while. Check it out. We're gonna light a candle for Kanika. Let you know that it's okay to go to the light, that we are working here on the other side for you. Okay. Now, this is the second thing I'm trying. Now you're gonna love this one, a tarot card reading. Only she's not using real tarot cards. She's gonna use the app on her phone. Check it out. It's like a yes or no tarot. You see that? So I never did this before, so let's see what happens. It says one, put your hand on the screen. Two, ask a question. Three, take your hands off the screen. Nice to see they make it really convenient to get in touch with the dead now and then. Four, expect an answer, okay? So, let's just start off with little questions. Can I talk to Kanika? You may rely on it. <laughs> now, for a first time psychic, she gets real lucky, doesn't she? Kanika? Can I try to help you? It is decidedly so. It is decidedly so. Two for two. Either she's the greatest psychic of all time. Well, she's been using apps made by Jeff 33 Supercomputer. But either way, this kept going. And rather than me make you sit through all this nonsense, let's just look at a montage of some of her best moments here. Good morning. Oh, she started adding text to the video so she can let you know what the ghost said, you know, so you don't have to use your own brain. Check it out. Somebody suffocate you. The 
freezer. Did Irene know about the freezer? Did they use the string to tie the freezer shut? Where was the birthday party? Kanika Jenkins. What? Hi, honey. I have a message for you. Can I ask you a question? Okay. The question is... Mm -hmm. Does this mean anything to you? May says she loves you. See, this is where Candace starts to show her skills as an actress. Now, remember all these reactions for later on in the video, because that's where you're going to see how funny this is all is. She said, give back that message. Oh, my God, I got chills up. Hey, Kanika, can I ask you a question? Everybody wants to know who put you in that freezer. Yes, Kanika, I know they drugged you, but who put you in that freezer? God help me. Kanika, was it the Double Tree or the Crown Plaza? Did you go to both hotels? Kanika? Candace? Trying to get you justice now. Who had the shoe? She lies. I know. You're cold. I know, Kanika, baby. You didn't get the blankets I gave you last night? Are you kidding me? Yeah, she really just said that. You didn't? I gave you some blankets last night. Kanika. Now any reasonable adult with common sense would know that this girl is full of shit. You really shouldn't have to tell him that. But sadly, a lot of people fall for this bullshit every day, even up to this day. Here's a few examples of a couple people who just don't have common sense enough to know when they're being frauded. Uh, we have a piece that uh, Candace Starr put out early, earlier. Shout out to Candace. I like them eyes you got, you know what I'm saying? You got the yeah, eye of the tiger. Shouts out to Kenneth Starr. I salute you. 
you and everything that you do. And you know, with reviews like that and people in your comment section just glowing over this bullshit, she had to step up production. And step it up she did with Candace Star Studios. No, you're not seeing things. She went on Amazon and got the Psychic Starter Kit and a new skill. Kanika, can I talk to you? Yes, all right, back to neutral. Was somebody in the freezer waiting for you? Yes. Thank you, back to neutral. Did an actress play you? Yes. Is the actress still alive? Yes. Is there a tape showing your murder? That's a yes. Really? A tape? I could have sworn I heard another fraud say something like that. There's video of this girl rape and murder. There's video of this. Yeah, and we all know where that story went. Now, with any new production, you definitely have to have new guests. And she had no problems finding new people to talk to. Check this hey out. Hey, babes, real quick, I want to show you guys this. I got a message. It says four hours ago. It says Candace Starr, Nika's uncle, was murdered. Um, could he be the new voice? Guys, look what the freaking second thing that was said. Uh-huh. Here they all come. Bullets. Okay, I, I gather that as they were trying to say, and the bullets came flying. Um, holy shit, I have the chills, like, up and down my body. When I saw about this bullet thing, I was like, what? Tell me what you think. I'm freaking freaking out. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Like, I gotta find out his name, see if we can contact him, because obviously we got some grade A shit right here. And trust me, Kanika's uncle wouldn't be the only person she reached out to as time went on. Check this sick shit out. Hey, babes. Okay, so it is May 30th, and um, we got news that Zach had passed away last night or in the morning. Um, yeah, that's right. This dude hasn't been dead 24 hours, and she's about to play with his death. And people support this. What I want to say before we jump into the EVP is last night I could not sleep at all. When I did fall asleep, I was accompanied by Vinny the whole night. Um, it was no dream. There was no dreams. He was just sitting next to me the whole night. Um, oh, by the way, Vinny is a ghost. Thought I'd just throw that in there. Which to me, I took as he was protecting me as Zach's um, soul transition. Man, the stupidity and people really buy this shit. So, I have a light already. Where is it? There we go. A light already lit. You guys ready? Hello? Hey! Who killed Zach? did this is Zach in the same place as you and Kanika did Monifa set Zach up Okay, guys, I'm gonna go. So, given the fact that she kept making a mockery of this, and then she went straight Miss Cleo on everybody, and I'm not making a joke. 
that's Miss Cleo's backdrop that she's using. Look it up for yourself. You should know that the rest of the psychic community on YouTube, they took offense to all this. They thought that she was making a mockery of them now, and one of them spoke out about it. And here's a little snippet of that. Um, I want to call out Candace Starr. Um, I seen her history, and I seen she was trying to control the pendulum readings. And um, that live I did, I was really upset. Um, when I seen her history, that like she forgot to delete, and um, in the history it uh, had how to give yes no answers from a pendulum reading. Then she got caught splicing her EVPs by Society Two Cent. I fell victim to Candace. I fell victim. I fell victim to her in the beginning. And um, I gave her information regarding my child, my daughter who died. Um, information I wouldn't just give to anyone. And um, you too. See, she's doing it to a few people. She broke your heart as well. So that's three people in the room she's had to fuck with. Um, her channel needs to come down. That girl woke up one morning, downloaded an app, bought this fucked up background, got her crystals, and all of a sudden she was Mystic Meg. She was speaking to the dead. And now she's doing private pendulum readings for her subs. She confirmed to a mother that her baby was in a plastic bag, dead. And I seen that. Ugh. Ugh. I fucking, me blood boiled so, so much. If she was standing in front of me, she'd be down pretty quick. You don't fuck with shit like that. Candace Starr, you are a fraud. You are a fake. You are a phony. I'm coming and I'm saying it to you. You are a fucking disgrace. You are mocking the dead. So now that we see the harm that her antics are doing to some certain people on YouTube, let's break down this hustle because it's really easy to break down. You see, Candace gets away with this stuff and people buy into her act because they're thinking on emotion. They're not thinking logically. Now, when people are thinking on emotion, they're willing to jump on anything. And there's a lot of people out here that's really emotional about this Kanika case. And look at how she does these readings. Every reading she does comes after she hears some type of new theory that comes out online. And I'm not just saying that. Here's a few examples. Remember when people kept posting videos claiming Monifa had Kanika's shoes and was running around the hotel? What the hell is that in her left hand? That is a shoe. A shoe that, remember Kanika Jenkins was missing the shoe. Why is there a, that's clearly a shoe in her hand, bro. And I'll give them that. It is a shoe in her hand. It just turned out to be Monifa's shoe. There you guys learn, cause first off, I was drunk and I took my shoes off. There was my shoes in my damn head. No, there was my shoes. I was hard. No, there was my shoes. I was. Now knowing that, why would Kanika tell Candace that it was Monifa? Who had the shoe? She lies. I know. I remember the theory of Monifa and her friend Kari and Kanika around the hotel to the freezer. Being, that's Kanika being carried up the hallway. You see her arms flopping? Watch. Flop, flop. And as you can see, just by letting the tape run, that turned out to be bullshit. But for some reason, Kanika told Candace something different. Everybody wants to know who put you in that freezer. Now, I can keep showing these examples all day, but there's really no need. You see, Candace debunked herself a long time ago. And in one of her recent videos, she definitely debunked herself. See, in the comment section of this video, somebody asked her a question. How does this work? She can't understand what the spirits are saying, but we can see and read it. And then she replied, I reveal it after recording it in studio headphones. So if that's the case, what is she reacting to in all these videos? Clearly by the statement, she doesn't understand what they're saying until she reviews it back with her headphones. And she's made that statement before. So what are all these goofy faces for? What is she reacting to when she's listening to this stuff without the studio headphones? Oh, 
This is how much of a fraud this woman is. And people fall for this. So as you can see, all this is just a show for her. This is nothing more than an act. That don't mean we gotta stop. Oh, and she didn't stop. Because her next venture is gonna be epic. But I'll let her tell you about it. Just for my followers that know um, my EVPs, uh, quite a few times Kanika has asked me to write a book. I have not even started it. I don't feel I have the time to do it at the moment. Um, if I do make the book, it would just be basically about um, how this all happened to me, being able to talk with the spirits and get messages from spirit. Yep, that's Candace for you. Always finding a way to stretch an extra dollar off of Kanika's name. And with that foolishness, we're going to leave you with a trailer from an upcoming episode of our mockumentary series, Random News Presents, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Look at this.